the Empress of Slap! Hello devotees, it's your very own Empress of Slap here again. Looking very blue. So what I'm going to teach you this week is how to do this edgy, high fashion, avant-garde, bit transgressive, bit rock and rolly blue eyeshadow. I'm going to use this painterly from MAC and this is the soft okra and so what I'm going to do is just prime the eye with this first using the finger always use very clean fingers i'm sorry but i've been doing somebody's makeup and my the palm of my hand is full of black eyelash glue but never mind it's only you right so prime the eye very nicely and then the first thing I'm going to take, and this reminds me of going clubbing to the Hippodrome and to Taboo in the 80s and Camden Palace, this Stargazer shadow, which I've not used for donkey's years. So I'm going to use this Royal Blue because I am a queen and so are many of you. Right, so I'm going to take this. I'm just going to use it as a powder I'm not going to wet the brush and then I'm just going to apply I'm just going to apply where I want my line and shape and I'm going to bring it round okay so we've done that and now we're just going to fill it in with the blue the blue is like an undercoat because I'm going to do something a little bit special with another blue eyeshadow so you're going to fill in the shape use this blue as a eyeliner for the waterline at the bottom as well look into my eyes not around the eyes in the eyes don't worry if your blue is escaping and going here. We'll clean all that up later. So fill in that exactly where you need. Try and match the other eye. That's useful. Apply the blue. You've got your undercoat. You've extended the line, filled it in. And then what I'm going to do, because I love Bare Minerals, so I'm going to use Climax from Bare Minerals. And then I'm going to wet the sponge. You don't always need to have expensive brushes or brushes to do your makeup. Fingers are perfectly fine. Sponges that come with the actual product are perfectly fine. And in fact, a lot of people find them easier. Damp the sponge, rub onto the Climax. I don't want to hear any smart crude lewd remarks just because i've used the word climax and then we're just going to go along the lid and bring that shadow over the blue stargazer shadow that you've already applied and you can see there's a lovely metallic hue appearing now this will also fix the shadow that you've already applied and I'm just going to put it there so that you're getting a smoky feel and look going on above the metallic. Use the pointy sponge as a highlight liner and go under the eye. Don't worry about the overspill as I said we're clearing that up later. Oh I love this. Okay so just fill that in a bit more. Just go over as you need to go over things, all right? Try and match the eye. Lovely. Then I want you to take your black ebony pencil. Again, I'm using MAC. And just rub to make sure that it's all pliable because you're going to go along the waterline of the inner eye now. So just pull the eye down. There you are. Is that? Then you might want to use this pencil just above the eye. The lashes. Then you take an eyeliner, liquid liner. I've got the MAC here or what else have I got? 
I know. Let's try the L'Oreal Super Liner Carbon Gloss. Right above the lashes, along the top lash line, to give it even more depth and density. You don't need to wing this one because the idea is to give you that faux sort of, I don't know, boozer addict. Been out on the tiles all night. Rock chick. And also use a bit of the liner underneath the bottom lashes. Also keep that line here consistent. My eyes are very watery, but then that's because I got it going on, baby. Put that there. Now, my favorite mascara for this is a big chunky blockbuster mascara, and I like this one. It's collagen, and it's from L'Oreal, and this is the Black Smoke liner. Can you see? And I love it. It's very good rock and roll. Come on, come on, shake it. Take another little piece of my heart now. But do you remember Janis Joplin? And to put lashings of that on. You don't need false eyelashes with this because it's far too much. Maybe if you're doing it for stage and you're in a big arena, false eyelashes, but you don't for a night out or a party. Take an old toothbrush brush your eyebrows take a pencil and again i'm using the l'oreal brow artiste and this is the dark brown you, oh actually this comes with a brush already look and then do your eyebrows if you do your eyebrows it's sometimes best to start here in this area and then extend okay also you might want to take a color so this is the danding o that is called, don't care much for the name, but you might just want to put a tiny little bit on the end of your MAC brush. I don't know what colour this is called, what is it? 210 brush, okay. And then just highlight, tap excess off, just highlight there. And then we'll do the brows again. So there you have it, your nice Danish blue clued up trendy, rock and rolly, avant-garde, nightclub blue eyeshadow application. Oh, and by the way, what you could do is just add a little bit of that colour call standard just to highlight the inner corners of the eye. And I suppose this is a good makeup that'll do for teenagers or people in there. 20s with you know great looking skin anyway it's a look there'll be bluebirds over the white cliffs of dover tomorrow when the world is free and i'd like you to learn that song as you're applying it because it's a very important ingredient in this look. All right, so until next time, don't be blue, but don't forget to rate, don't forget to comment, don't forget to download my app. And until next time, you're not beautiful like anybody else. You're beautiful like you, regardless of whether you're wearing blue.